Hey, ugly wife, where is my food? The fridge is empty. Why haven't you prepared? What are you talking about? You ate everything yesterday. You came home drunk last night and ate everything. I was so surprised this morning. I don't know about that. Just prepare food. It's your job as a wife to prepare food. You're useless. Don't say that. I was so surprised this morning. The breakfast was gone and I had to go to work. Sam and I also rushed out of the house. We had to buy food at the convenience store. Shut up. It's your fault for not preparing extra. Anyways, where is my food? Eat at the convenience store. I can't pay, period. You are so useless. Fine, I'll buy it. But if I have to buy food, leave money. How can you not understand? I gave you money for this month, $100. Use it from there. I don't have that money anymore. I only have five cents in my wallet. Did you gamble again? That's enough. That money includes transportation for you. Every time I give you money, you keep spending it on gambling. Do you understand? Shut up. Don't talk back to me as my wife. Leave me alone, you ugly bitch. Just make food. Also, I'm out of cigarettes, so get some. What the fuck? Hey Sam, about Harry? Can you do something? What do you mean? Like I said before, Harry is too selfish. He eats everything in the house, and he uses up all the money I gave him day before yesterday. He also starts to call me ugly, and he forces me to buy cigarettes and alcohol for him, even though he's my brother-in-law. Don't say that. Harry is just a little pissed right now. He was suddenly fired from his job and kicked out of his apartment. He was in trouble, so he's depending on us. I feel sorry for him. I feel sorry for him, too. I did say he could stay until he found a job. But he keeps on gambling and doesn't go find a job. Is he really going to get a job? I know he's been baby since he is the youngest of three brothers. And he's a little bit selfish. But he can do it. Just please look after him. It's not just a little selfish. He's quiet in front of you. But he's getting more arrogant by the day. He thinks I'm his wife as well. He uses me a lot. You're taking it too negatively. He wants to take care of you because even though you're not related, you're his older sister. And he's your sweet little brother as well. So please, get along. It's way past that level. Please, listen to me. My break's almost over, so let's talk later. Hey, Sam. Hey, Harry. You messed up my room. What did you do? What the fuck? You came home already, you bitch? Just answer me. Why did you do this? Because I need more money. I was trying to see if you had any money. And I sold your engagement ring because I thought it would be expensive. I'm going to gamble with that money now. Did you sell my engagement ring? It was quite good money. I guess you're useful sometimes. What the fuck? Why did you sell my ring without my permission? Stop playing around. Don't make a fuss. It was only a 500 bucks. I bought it for twice that money. But it only sold for 500 bucks. Just give me more money. That's not enough. If you don't have money, just work night jobs as well. I don't think people will hire you because you're ugly, though. Fuck you. What the fuck? Do you have a problem with that? Of course I do. I keep listening to you. Who the fuck do you think you are? You eat all the food in the house. And use your allowance to go gambling. And you sell my ring? You're being dependent on us. Don't get carried away. You're so cocky for a wife. Don't talk back to me, you asshole. I'm not your wife. I'm your brother's wife. Stop acting like an arrogant husband. 
What the fuck? You got fired and kicked out of your apartment. So I allowed you to stay until you found a job. But you eat all the food and don't find a job. And steal my money. I felt sorry for you and was nice to you, but you took advantage of me. I've had enough. You have to leave by today. No house? No money? I don't give a shit. You can sleep outside for all I care. How can you talk to me like that? That's enough, you bitch. I'll tell my brother. Then he will divorce you, a bitch like you. Are you okay with that? You sound so strong when you bring out your brother's name. Do you realize your position? You and that son of a bitch. Do you know who's the house you're in? No, it's not. It's my house that I got from my grandfather. When we got buried, he started moving in with me. Do you understand? What? Really? He may have said it was his house, but it is mine. And you fuckers. Act like the man of the house. I don't care about getting a divorce. I don't want assholes like you. I'll tell both of you. Anyways, I'll throw your stuff out, so get the hell out of my way. What do you mean? What don't you understand? Get out! I don't want a man like you in the house. You daydreamers! But if you kick me out, I don't have anywhere to go since I'm jobless. I don't give a fuck! Or should I feed you to the fish? What? One of my grandfathers is on business. It's a fisherman related. If you guys aren't going to work, I'll feed you guys to the fishes. Is he part of the mafia? Who cares? But I will tell him about you. I think some people will pick you up tomorrow. Now you have a job for good. I'm sure Grandpa will be happy. It will be an amazing year this year. I'm so sorry. I will leave. I will try to get back the thing I sold as well. Please forgive me. I guess you're too late to whistle an apology. Reflect on what you've done and become a better person in your next life. Please help me. Hey, Hannah, what did you tell Harry? Harry called me crying. You said something harsh to him, right? You got a problem with that? What? What happens with you? What the fuck? I'm tired of your brother. I'm going to kick both of you out. What do you mean, all so sudden? It's not sudden. I've told you a billion times that I can't stand this behavior. You thought I wouldn't lose my patience? You guys are both shitty people. Well, he's having a hard time too. He sold my ring. He didn't tell you the whole story. He just believed what he said and blamed me. That's not it. I've been nice to him, but I've had enough. He said he was acting like that because he thought I was his sister. And he is my little brother. You gotta be kidding me. He's a stranger to me. He's not cute at all. He doesn't accept anything I say, and you also take his side who sold my ring. I don't need any of you guys. Wait a minute, let's talk. There must have been a misunderstanding. Please listen to me. Why would I listen to you when you didn't listen to me? Stop making a fool out of me. I'm busy throwing all your stuff out of the house. Bye! After that, the brothers left my house. I asked my brother to help kick them out. My brother and his friend helped me kick out their stuff and take away their key to the house. I took my brother and his friend to a nice dinner, so that cost me a fortune. But I am so happy I don't care about that. My grandpa's co-workers picked up Harry. My grandfather isn't a mafia. He's just part of the fishing cooperative. There aren't many people working in that area anymore. So he's happy a young man came by. They are also excited for him. Good luck, Harry. Also about Sam, both our families talked and we decided to live separately. Sam's older brother is going to take care of Sam and Harry. So I guess I'll give it a little bit of time. If they do anything next time, I will divorce him though. For now, I'm alone, so I'm going to enjoy the freedom.